Hi guys, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. As you might know, I like to do these types of videos at the beginning of every new year, trying to take some stock of what happened in my reading in the past year. And so today I wanted to talk about the series that I completed in 2018. I have also already done a video on the series that I abandoned in 2018 or that I stopped reading that I told myself I won't continue that year. So if you want to check that out, please do so. But today we're talking about which series I read the final book in. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my content. That would really help me out. And now let's jump right into it. The first series I completed, I read the entire series of, and that's 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. This is a trilogy. I have the bind up. Um, it's consisting of three parts, so I'm calling it a series. Uh, I read this for my project TBR and I had previously read half of this book, like the first, the first book and then half of the second, but now I like reread the entire thing and I finally finished it. I'm really proud of it. I really enjoyed the first two, I think, but the third one was kind of eh and uh, I just really read it because I wanted to know how it ended. Then I finally got to finish one of my favorite series of all time and that is The Lady Helen Trilogy by Alison Goodman. I read the entire trilogy this year. The first two books are rereads but I needed to reread them to kind of refresh my memory and so that I could read the entire series in one go and it was a great experience. Um, the first book is called The Dark Days Club, then we have The Dark Days Pact, and finally The Dark Days Deceit, which just came out in 2018, so that's why I finally got the chance to complete this series, and if you haven't read it yet, then uh, I really recommend it. Next, I finally completed the Farseer Trilogy by Robin Hobb. Uh, I read Assassin's Quest this year, the first two books I read in 2017, um, but I finally, finally made it through this mammoth of a book. Um, to complete the series. I don't think it's the best in the series, to be perfectly honest. I love the first one. The second one also, I think, if I remember correctly, but the third one I gave only about three stars. It was one of my most disappointing books of the year, just because the standard, like such a high standard had been set by the beginning of the series, and uh, I really wasn't all too happy with the conclusion. But I still think it's a great series, and if you haven't read it yet, again, do check it out because it's pretty damn awesome. The next trilogy I also read in its entirety in 2018 and that is the Red Rising trilogy by Pierce Brown. No, before you say anything, I know that the series has been extended and there's like book four and five, but that's, it's not the original, it's not the original trilogy. So this is the original trilogy and that's the one I completed this year, okay? Um, it consists of Red Rising, Golden Sun, and Morningstar. I thought overall it was a really good series. Like, I 100% recommend getting it, checking it out. The first book was both on my most surprising and best books of 2018, so that's saying a lot. I really had very low expectations of it, to be honest, but I ended up completely falling in love with it. I gave the first two books five stars each and the third three, because it was just one ongoing space battle and really not that good and kind of predictable and a bad ending but that's okay because overall I still think it's it's worth a, a read. I would recommend though not necessarily binging it completely because that kind of burnt me out especially on the space battle happening so you know take your time but definitely definitely go and, and check these out. And then the last trilogy I completed in 2018 is the Wayward Pines trilogy by Blake Crouch. The first book being Pines, then we have Wayward and The Last Town. I read the second and third book in 2018. This one was my favorite book, one of my favorite books of 2017. Well, neither of these books made it to my best books of the year. They were both pretty good, particularly the second one. I thought it was really well done. The third was okay but i don't know i feel like with as with most series the third book is just not as strong usually it tends to be a little bit weaker especially if you've been very invested in the series and in the characters and then the ending doesn't necessarily you know live up to your expectations or the author gets a little bit lazy in wrapping up all the loose ends so those are usually the things i think that you know ruin, not necessarily ruin, but negatively influence how you feel about the ending of a trilogy. So that's kind of what happened here, but overall I still think this is one of the best trilogies ever. I've said that about all of these. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of really good series that I finished this year, so I'll check this out if you haven't already. And I do actually have book reviews up for these, the Red Rising series, and also the Dark Days to Seed series, so I will link them in the description box below if you haven't seen them yet. And that's it for the series that I completed 
finally in 2018. There's only five of them, which isn't that good, but that's okay. <laughs> I am still in the middle of a several series that are still like being published, so that's kind of the main reason why I haven't really gotten to finishing that many, but that's okay because then at least I have something to look forward to in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments which series you finished in 2018. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you very soon with another one. Until then, have a lovely week. Bye!